Now the number one question is, in how many different ways can five bicycle be parked if there are seven available parking space? Number two question, how many four digit number can be formed from digits one, three, five, six, eight, and nine if there if no repetition of digit is allowed? So how many possible arrangement can you arrange digit one, three, one, two, three, four, two at a time? Find the permutations of the letters of the word even. The teacher was to assign different tasks for I mean, to the Hey guys, welcome to Pinoy Mat, not in TikTok anymore, but in YouTube now. I can't believe this, I'm doing this right now. Sa mga viewers ko dyan na prate nag-aas na gumawa ka ng YouTube content about math, ito na po ang YouTube na ginagawa ko para po sa inyo. Why I'm doing this one? Because I want to expand how to explain those questions. Ito po sa mga mathematics question na hindi ko kaya explain ng mahaba sa TikTok because may time limit po siya. Now I'm doing this in YouTube for you guys. But anyway, guys, before we start, always remember this one: that claim to yourself na makakapasaka. Not only examination, but sa lahat ng hamon ng buhay, malalampasan mo din. And also, guys, I want you to get ball pen or pencil and paper para sabi niyo ako doon magsagot sa question na which is I have five word problem permutation. Tamba permutation rather. Anyway guys, don't forget to click the bell button before we proceed. Oh, I can't believe I'm, do I'm saying this also. Just click the bell button para always ka notify in every upload ko dito sa YouTube. And subscribe also. Now, let's answer those questions kaya alam ko ayun na pahabain to. What we're waiting for? Let's go! Hey guys, so today's our topic is all about permutation. We're in Lumalabas in different kind of examination like LET, Civil Service, and APSAT na now the number one question is, in how many different ways can five bicycle be parked if there are seven available parking space? So now you need to analyze first the problem, but then this is the choices that you need to choose later on before we answer this one. So first muna alamin muna natin ano ba talaga yung formula ng permutation. So first we have notation of P, N, and R. We have close parenthesis. This, this is notation first, ha? Pag mayroong ganito na, may ganyan na siya, n factorial all over n minus r factorial. That is a permutation formula. So, this is notation. n means object. Your power population are yung kunukuha mong sample dun sa population. At this time, we need first to know what will be the equivalent of n and equivalent of R. So now, in our question, there's a 5 bicycle. So N is the somewhat, somewhat population, yung pinakamadaming number, o malaking number na may kita mo na lang sa problem. Yun na lang yung ating N. So N is 7. 5 bicycle na pwedeng ma-park doon sa 7 na space. So, so we have 5. At this moment, because we have the value of N and R, kailangan natin siya i-substitute doon sa formula. So we have 7 factorial all over 7 minus r. I'm not, it's not r, but it is 5 factorial. Because r is 5 and n is 7. Now we need to continue. 7 factorial plus taas all over 7 minus 5 is equal to 2 factorial. Now in order for us, this 7 factorial, you need to expand this one and 7 times 6 times 5 pababa. So yung 7 factorial. 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 factor is you need to stop the own part. Kasi yung ating denominator, it is 2 factorial. Why? Because we can cancel them all. Like that. So yung iwan na lang natin is, is equal to 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 and times 3. And if you answer or you multiply them all, the result will be 2,520. So this is the answer from this question number one. And it is letter C. That's it. Number two question. How many four-digit number can be formed from digits 
one, three, five, six, eight, and nine if there if no repetition digit is allowed. So this is the multiple choice A, B, C, D. Now we all know the formula first of permutation or permutation rather. It is P and we have notation N and R is equal to N factorial all over N minus R factorial. At this point, we need to find first what will be the N and what will be the R. So over here, sabi dito, apat na digit can be formed doon sa ating digit na 1, 3, 5, 6, 8, 9. So how many terms do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So not 6, but 6. So our N will be 6. And in our R, it's 4 digits can be formed. It is 4. Now we need to substitute from the equation. So the light to gilid. So we have here 6 permutation all over 6 minus 4 permutation. Okay? So that, ilalagay ko lang dito. Equal 6 permutation all over 6 minus 4, it's 2. Nagkataon na 2 pa rin sa baba. So you have to expand this one. So you have 6 pa baba, 5, 4 decreasing siya. 3, tapos 2 fermentation last. Kasi nga, ba yung denominator natin is 2 factorial. Pag 3 dyan, sa 3 din ka mag-stop. Nagkataon na, pwede siya na makansin sa 2. So, naiwan na lang dito natin. It is 6 times 5 times 4 and times 3. When you multiply them all, the result will be 360. So, the answer for this, it's 360 ways. So, it's letter D. That's it. For number 3, pero before tayo pumunta number 3, if you notice may nakalagay dyan, if you want to avail review or new curriculum, Prof. Ed, your teacher, let, and civil service, just search Pinoy Math and leave me a message there how to order. So we have to num answer number 3. So how many possible arrangements can you arrange digit 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 at a time? So first, you need to put the notation N R equal to the formula N factorial all over N R factorial. Now we're looking for N. So our N is we need to count how many digits? 1, 2, 3, 4. So it is, oh, I'm gonna put R here. It is 4. There you go. And our R is right at a time. It is 2 at a time. So it means 2 po dito. Now let's substitute everything. So we have 4 factorial over 4 minus 2 factorial is equal to 4 factorial all over 4 minus 2 so the denominator it's 2 pa rin. so now is equal to we need to what would be the equivalent of 4 factorial would be 4 times 3 and I need to stop from 2 factorial because the denominator it's 2 factorial cat that can cancel like this now, pagkatapos niyan, iwan na lang yung 4 times 3. So, 4 times 3 is equal to 12. So, there are 12 ways that we can arrange 2 at a time yung digit ng 1, 2, 3, 4. So, it's letter A. That's simple and easy. Now, number 4 question. Find the permutations of the letters of the word even. If you notice, walang mga number naka-involved dyan. But, sinabi dyan, it is word. So at this time, iiba yung ating procedure, how to answer. So if you notice, even word. So we how many letters of even? So we have four letters. So I'll put in four letters, right? Because E, V, E, N. And now, pag words nga ang ating asagutin, bibilangan mo ilang letters. Tapos, hahanapin mo dyan yung magkapare-pareha. Magkapareha lang dyan, it's E. It means may dalawang E. Now, our 4 will be our N. And let's say yung ating P, ating 2, it's represent as P. It means that mayroon siyang dalawang magkaparehang E. So at this point, yung ating formula will be like this. P factorial N and P is equal to N factorial all over P. Ganyan. Okay? Equal. 
we have 4 factorial all over 2 factorial. Am I right? Okay. And the same time, we have 4 times 3 times 2 factorial because what is the equivalent of 4 factorial? You have to multiply downwards or decreasing way. So we have 2 factorial below. So now we can cancel this one because they are the same. So naiwan na lang yung ating 4 times 3 is equal to 12. So we have 12 permutation that we can arrange even letter. So it means that it's letter C. That's it. Now in our last number, it's number 5. The teacher was to assign different tasks for, I mean to the, actually merong 4 learners po dito. Medyo hindi ko nalagyan. My four learners po dito. The teacher wants to assign four different tasks to the four learners. In how many ways can the teacher do it? So at this time again, we can use the uh, formula which is 4 a p n r is equal to n factorial all over we have n minus r factorial. At this point, we need to find what is n and what is r. We all know our n, it is the learners, and our r, it's assigned four different tasks. Four. If you notice, they have the same four. What will be the itsura niya? So we have four factorial all over, and an r will be, they have the same four factorial. Now, we have four factorial all over, four minus four, simply zero, but don't forget the sign factorial. Now, if, if you notice 0, pa, paano siya multiply So, magagayin siya. 0 times 1, pa, pataas siya. Or else, 0 times negative 1, the 0. Lahat ng number na i-multiply mo 0, 0. But, in permutation, 0 factorial, it is equivalent of 1. Okay? 1 yung equivalent niya. So, 0 factorial, it's 1. Now, this 4 factorial, you need to expand 4 times 3 times 2 and times 1. So if you multiply 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, is equal to 24. So because 24 over 1, it's 24 pa rin siya. So the answer for this, it's 24 ways. It's letter uh, B rather. So there you go guys. There you go guys. Nakita yun yung 5 question how to solve and explain also paano yun nagawa at paano nga yun nagsagotan yung 5 question na yun. Hope you learned something from what I did kanina. But anyway guys, if you want to avail or to order or a new curriculum, let and civil service, just message me at my FB page, Pinoy Mat, or else nakalagay doon yung link sa description below, basahin na lang po how to order. Anyway guys, God bless and good luck po sa inyong lahat. See you soon!